Welcome to Let's Play Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier 1. Oh yeah, baby! We're gonna do some more street fighting here because, yeah, we're fighting streets, and who doesn't want to do that? Especially twice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's like there was almost never a Street Fighter 1, but here we got Part 2. Yeah, I really didn't <laughs> hear about Street Fighter until Street Fighter 2 came out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird thing. Street Fighter 1 sucked so much that <laughs> nobody remembers it. Yeah. Kind of like Mega Man 1, hey? No, I'm kidding. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Mega Man 1 was a hit, though. <laughs> anyway, I, I would admit it is probably better than Street Fighter 1. Yeah, so we got Ryu or Ryu against Chun-Li or Chun-Li, however you want to say it. Against, <laughs> so Ryu against Wiga. Yeah, I had a crush on her when I was 13. Who did it? Like, right. <laughs> I like playing her on the Super Nintendo because now you can pause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Even though you pause, it goes, it goes, ah, ah, no, no, no. Yeah, she's like way too hot to be like a street fighter. Yeah. But, you know, all the girls are in Capcom games. Yeah. It's almost like a requirement that you have to have like, I don't know, <laughs> a limited amount of clothes, good amount of cleavage, and yeah. Yeah, right here, it was a big deal for her to be in this game because she was the only woman fighter in this game, and at the time, you know, a woman in the tournament fighting game, I guess, was rare. And the Mortal Kombat came after Street Fighter, so uh, there's only one woman in that one, and so it's kind of kind of a rare, like, whoa, a woman's in this one, and, you know, uh, at the time, it just seemed like, not that female characters were rare at the time, because I think that really started up until Metroid, I think. But we're funny. Yeah, it's kind of like a weird thing too. Okay, yeah, lemons, women's lib. Yeah, you put women in a fighting game. <laughs> but yeah. you know, we're putting a chicken fighting game to get beat up. Like it's right and it's so wrong. <laughs> yeah. She was tight though in this game and Oh yeah. And, and Blanca. Blanca's pretty cool too. Not right here though, because I've worked him real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted okay, this to be a two-player. He's player. so vicious because he's so fast. Yeah, I wanted this to be a two-player LP. Yeah, I wanted this to be a two-player LP, but it uh, just uh, I couldn't find nobody to play two-player with me, so I'm just facing the CPU. Okay. Oh man, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the CPU is pretty tough. Yeah, this game is harder than the later ones that came out. Especially later on when you know how to juggle like combos and all that, you can get infinite hits. Here yeah. you got really tiny shots. Oh, that was shocking that I lost. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome stage of music though. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird though. We get a Brazilian fighter in here but and he's all green and monster like. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, on here, uh, well, yeah, we don't have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or Capoeira <laughs> represented. Yeah. No. yeah. Just have a guy, you know, the, who looks all monsters. Yeah. It looks like a mutated Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. Yeah, how does he do it? I went to the mountaintops, and I went to the caverns to see the destiny that lies before me and the warriors. <laughs> And that's where you fly through the cockpit door. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. All right, here's a uh, to the might of the warriors. I uh, here's the as a uh, Mr. T's illegitimate son. <laughs> yeah, because Dang everybody it. in Russia is bad back then. <laughs> yeah, and this guy was awesome. He like wrestled uh, bears and stuff. Yeah, I remember that was the storyline. Yeah, he Even though he's like 300 pounds and all, but if you wrestle a bear, you know, you're gonna be screwed either way. Yeah, I don't care how big you are. Of course, in Street Fighter logic, everybody has to have a like a crazy storyline. Yeah, like Chun Li can do flips like 50 feet in the air. Ryu can throw magical fireballs. Yeah, <laughs> everybody has to be extreme. Yeah, another stage music in this stage as well. And I, back then, I would call him Zangief or Zangief, whatever. I didn't know what was the right one. I would call him Zangief or something. 
Yeah, they all had such weird names, but it was cool back then. Yeah, because really. you're people from around the world, and whoa, those are some crazy names we got in here, and cool, I get to play as them too. Yeah. I remember in the original Street Fighter, you just played as a Ryu and Ken. Yeah. Which was lame. I mean, yeah, only two really characters? Lame. Come on. Especially when you get to fight all these characters around the world, but you can't play as them. Yeah. Now oh, yeah. facing uh, <laughs> a blonde version music. of Rambo. Yeah, I love his music too. It goes great with everything. Yeah. <laughs> Ask it Rogers. Oh. He was so... Guy was such an awesome character, but... I don't know, admittedly he's not too much different from Ryu or Ken, like he has a fireball, anti-air attack, but I guess his standard like punches and kits are slower but stronger. Yeah. And on here he don't flip, he didn't do that till turbo. Oh you mean like the, his air flip? Yeah, when he jumps. See I noticed on here when he jumps he don't flip. Oh, you mean his flash kick? No, this is jump. His jump. He don't oh. flip. Oh yeah, you mean there's like flip in the air when he does that kick to the head, right? Yeah, pretty much everybody said uh, the bison don't flip on here. Just like you know his jump pattern. Yeah. He don't flip. I just noticed he don't, he don't do that. Neither does bison. Um, I don't think that started until Turbo or Special Champion Edition or Champion Edition. Which I'm confused. There's Champion Edition and Special Champion Edition. Like, what's the difference? <laughs> Special Champion Ship Edition is like Turbo, where they add a whole bunch of new moves to the standard roster list. Where Champion Ship Edition, that you play as the bosses. Okay. Yeah, there's so many re revisions out there, it's hard to keep track. Yeah, there's like 10 Street Fighter 2s. <laughs> and only one crappy Street Fighter 1. Yeah. Oh, I copy the nerd again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the bonus stage now. Let me break these bricks or concretes, whatever. Yeah, I remember this is a cool new feature in the Super Nintendo release. This wasn't in the arcade. Yeah. But, yeah, the Super Nintendo version also took some stuff out. Like the Sits Elephants and Dowsim stage and... I don't know, the graphics also look a bit worse too. <laughs> But still, back then, it was awesome. Yeah. The Super Nintendo, you know, it, not as, uh, you know, not as, what do you call it, advanced as the arcade cabinet. No. Capcom was using some very fancy shit back then. <laughs> yeah, they were always first in having the yeah, highest had megabit of video games. Yeah. Oh, you creamed them. Yeah, they, I never liked Dalsim, but back then I called him Dalsim. Never liked him. Yeah, he's so relaxed, you know. And you, know, uh, you want to play a more extreme character. You want to be the, you know, the Sitsi Chung Lee, who's the, you know, he's an acrobatics or the big Russian with massive amount of power. You're, you're this guy's a yoga instructor. Well, at the Lame. time, I, I, I liked him as a beginner because he stretched his legs and arms out. And I think yeah. for beginners, he's pretty cool. But other than that, you get used to Street Fighter, he's more uh, good with it. I don't know, I just didn't like him, but any character is good if you know how to use it. <laughs> yeah, once you master his style, use his long limbs and his distance and... Yeah, you know, he's a very cool character. Yeah. You just have to play him smart because he's also super slow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how'd you like that? <laughs> That's Gandhi's brother. What was that? Round oh. one. Hello? Oh. Oh. Sorry, you cut in and out right there. <laughs> How's your yoga techniques going <laughs> to... That's late. Yeah. Hello. Alright, we apologize for the audio cutting in and out. I don't apologize. You guys should have been paying attention. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm, I'm kidding. I love you guys. Hey, e Honda, pretty cool. Vice in the bathroom or a sauna. Yeah. It's weird. We got two Japanese characters in here. This... 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's cool, you know, we got two Japanese characters find it out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, come on. Oh. Just nailed him. Yeah. That's weird, you know. <laughs> if you get somebody who's good with fireballs, you know, you can really damage E Honda and Zangi. Yeah. Because they don't have project projectiles. Yeah. But he does. Unless you're somebody who's very good at jumping, you know, you're pretty much a sit and duck. Yeah. It wasn't to like later revisions where they sort of even that out. Yeah. Ryu and Ken now. Pretty much the same except Ken's quicker. And Ryu's more powerful. Wait. Wait, who's who? They're not the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Ken was originally supposed to be Japanese, but they figured I don't know, he looks, I don't know, American enough, so we'll just call him. <laughs> yeah, because Ken is also a Japanese name. Um, yeah, I know someone named Ken, a uh, friend of mine, from so, like, MSN a long time ago, and yeah, he, Ryu and Ken, I mean, a lot of complained that he was, uh, that they both, that's stupid, they're both the same, they have the same moves, and I mean, back then when I was a kid, I didn't care, you know? Yeah. Just as long as not all the fighters were the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But back then, Ken was hard to me, though, as a kid. And especially, I think, in Champion Edition, uh, I think you can get away with using Psycho Crusher a lot with Bison, but Ken would, like, jump up and block it with his feet. It was weird. Yeah, Ken, I think he likes to be very cheap. Like, where Ryu will be all strategic and stand back and wait for you to hit him, Ken will just rush it. Yeah. Uh, uh, now the bosses in this game are real hard. Some are cheap. Oh, yeah. some of them. Well, there's only Especially two. in the original. Yeah, and th they're harder on this game than they are in the later versions. I think Capcom dumbed down the challenge a little bit. Yeah, I think Barak, he can, like, hit you in just a few hits. Yeah. Or the original M. Bison for you Japanese players out there. <laughs> yeah, really. I think they did that because of Mike Tyson. You could probably sue him or something. Yeah. I don't know. Stupid. Yeah, I think, yeah, M. Bison just sounds too similar to Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Mike Tyson, I don't agree with your um, impressment of, you know, putting me in the game without playing me right, <laughs> Yeah. I gotta eat your children. <laughs> I'm very ecstatic. Uh-oh. I think yeah. made him mad. I think he heard, heard you. Yeah. And look at the girls. They're actually wearing One Piece bathing suits. Yeah. Before they were in bikinis, and well, I'm such I a think pervert turbo. that I knew that. <laughs> yeah. They might change that in turbo. Yeah. Another bonus stage. Yeah, we get the part. <laughs> I meant the car finally. We get the part finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, come on, what? You can't hit it standing up like that. Yeah. Well, realistically. <laughs> You would be damaged in your toes, but yeah. Again, it goes to the whole extremeness that of Street Fighter. Yeah. Oh, these characters are so extreme; they <laughs> they can destroy a car with their bare hands and fists. Yeah. Oh man, come on! How are you gonna lose a bonus stage? <laughs> I just use like medium strikes, and that's good enough because if you use stronger strikes, it's a bit too slow. Yeah. Oh, and I hate this guy. Oh man. And now this guy fights cheap. Yeah. Ball rock here. I. Oh, I mean that guy here. He's just. <laughs> Look at that, he... that. That kick. That jump kick is cheap. I know. And that's the problem with the bosses is that they know exactly what you're gonna do. Yeah. And that's why I hate. This is stupid. They know your move list. Okay, you're jumping. I'm gonna counter with a kick. Yeah. All right, come on. No. Oh, oh, dragon punch, you idiot! There we go. Now you do it. Oh, I hate to do the dragon punch in this game at first because <laughs> it's a forward then a quarter circle. Yeah. I got good at this game by uh, button mashing on special champion edition. Then I figured out how to do it. Oh, you gotta do it fast.
Yeah, I wish it was a bit more simpler, like, I don't know, the hurricane kick and the uh, fireball itself. The yeah. dragon punch, I think. I don't know, it was kind of aggravating when I was younger, but... Yeah. Now, it's only mildly aggravating. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be close. Oh man. Oh. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah. He's cheap. Yeah. Whoa, he took off his mask! We got to see his mask! <laughs> I mean, his face! And he does not look Spanish. Yeah. Well, Ryu you don't look Japanese either. No. And Chun Ken Dachi doesn't Chun look American. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the only one that looks like who they are is E Honda, Dalsim, maybe Zanga. Yeah. Leica looks Brazilian. Yeah. <laughs> no. Alright, now we got uh, someone different. Ken. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's like uh, two different people. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I think it got some advantage in this stage because he gets to climb the fence back there. Oh, got him. Ah, that's a good kick. Yeah, I could be cheap with that nice. kick too. <laughs> that's so weird how they took out the cages and the layer stage so you can play as them now. And yeah. He just jumps up in the air. Yeah. What well, if we still could climb the background and climb on thin air because it's a glitch in the game that we got to edit? <laughs> it takes away some detention. Yeah. <laughs> I just came back there and said, Man, this boss is freaking hard. Air. Oh. Yeah, about then, they're really trying to eat your quarters. Yeah. But nowadays... <laughs> You could just buy the game and they said, okay, we'll go easy on you now. Yeah. You dropped the 60 bucks. And yeah. now we're only going to rape you if you download the content. <laughs> Get a new costume for five dollars. <laughs> Mega Man is fat now. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, man, I can't believe that. That's not Mega Man. I don't care what Capcom says. Yeah. <laughs> He's holding the pistol and they may have looked like Mega Man 1. Nice. Yeah, that's so stupid. But even the cover art on Mega Man 1, he was still thin. Yeah. He let himself go over the years. And I've seen his ending. His ending makes no sense. <laughs> I think Capcom just did that to mess with the fans. Yeah. Hey, you want Mega Man? Well, this is what you get. Well, they crapped, they crapped on the fans recently, canceling Mega Man Legends 3 and then messing up Street Fighter Cross Tekken and bringing a fat Mega Man. Oh, yeah. One. Fight. Fight. Oh, and I just said God. Up a lot as of late. Yeah, this is back then when Capcom was cool right here. Oh yeah, I love the Mega Man Net series on Super Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, back then I love Capcom. Awesome. I love Capcom. I love the original Mega Man. I love Street Fighter. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. And they were even making good decent games. I love the Magical Quest. You know, Darkwing Duck on the original Nintendo was awesome. Yeah. And Ducktales. Doctors. Yeah. Yeah. They were so great back then, but then they lost in the Poonie. Yeah. I guess they lost. Yeah, the original uh, creator of Mega Man. Yeah. Yeah, I think they lost. Oh, cool staff member. I know you know him, but maybe some people who don't know his name. Yeah. I'm sure we got those composers and music. Yeah. Losers. <laughs> no, there are some really talented people. And Sega is so much more easier. I know he's easier on here than Vega was. The problem is he leaves himself open. Yeah. Yo, throw the fireball, okay, jump over. Yeah. For Vega, we'll just wait for you to move and then, oops, counter. Yeah. Alright, and here we got the end boss. Oh, Bison. Yeah. Or Vega. Yeah. Round one. Such a cool look. so freaking hard on this game. Yeah. Ah, look at that already. I blocked that, come on. He did like three moves in like a session. Yeah. Very cheap. And he just flies all over the place. Yeah. Oh, man. Come on. Dang, man. He just murdered me right here. Oh. 
Yeah, I wonder why he doesn't like murder you right here. Oh, of course we have to wait for the rounds and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> if this was a movie, they took out all the rounds. In a of course, movie, if this was a movie, it would totally suck. Yeah. Now I thought we were in uh, Thailand, not Philadelphia. I got the Liberty Bell back there. Or... Oh wait, yeah. no, it's not cracked. Oh! That's yeah, just a big bell. Uh, <laughs> and some old lady is screaming in the background, Hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Oh! I could have come from behind there. It is a cheap kick also. Yeah, look at the woman is just down there and then she's just screaming at you. Hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> Some of that. I don't know, if I saw M. Bison fighting, I would do more than scream, you know. Hey, that's a drug dealer, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Uh oh. Look at that. That is super cheap. That it's is not cheap. even letting you do a move. Yeah, look at that's cheap. Hey, come on. Really? Oh, <laughs> see? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do out in that situation. Yeah, really. I can't compare with your cheapness. Alright, someone different. The Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, nobody beats the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> Come on! There we go. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, uh, come on, Blanka. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. <laughs> spam, spam. Yeah, the problem with using Blanka, he only has like two special moves: the roll and the electricity. Yeah. But he gets a lot better in later versions, especially Super. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ah, come on now, I scratch him. I was gonna buy him right there. He breaks for you. Come on. Yeah, just one second. You yeah. had one bite on him, and boom, he's out. Yeah. What difficulty are you playing on? This is normal. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine how hard. Uh-oh. Now we got J-Man versus Bison. Round one. Haircut versus, you know, Derby Hat. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's cool with the storyline, too, because Gaio actually really hates it, Bison. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Nice. He's going his hair. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait say, wait, say that again, they're cutting out. It's not, like right now, I'm so much. Oh no, I'm just going to let him out for a round. Oh, that's him tonight. <laughs> He's just going to stand there and comb his hair. Yo, when? Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yo, when? Perfect. Sonic boom. Sonic boom. Oh, now he's being cheap again. Yeah, come on. Oh, I think I made him mad. I beat him perfect. Oh, nice. Yes. Don't comb your hair. <laughs> That's your mortal enemy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember you, Kyle. You're not the one you were then. Go ahead. Get over with. Nothing is over! It's M. Bison's wife! <laughs> <laughs> Jane? I first seen this ending on Special Champion Edition, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I think the wife looks a bit different than the original one. Oh yeah, I forgot he had daughter too. 
Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, honey. I'll just kill Bison right here. Yeah. <laughs> and now, ironically, Gao goes home to be a family man. Yeah. I remember in later editions, like the wife was like baking cookies and all that. Hmm. I don't know if I'm, I remember one version where he's sitting on a couch in normal clothes, yeah. smoking or sitting next to a fireplace, or there's a dog playing or something. Yeah, a bit more stereotypical. Or this one's kind of basic. Yeah. It's like playing a family music right there, and all of a sudden, da -da -da -da, place for play, presented by Capcom. <laughs> oh, look at that. ECW, number one. Yeah, he didn't even get a trophy or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I guess just like Ryu, ceremony means nothing to him. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't yeah. care. I want my damn trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his family's getting his family back as his trophy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> anyway, Street Fighter Two: The World Warrior, uh, one of the greatest fighting games of all time. The first Street Fighter game to be released on the SNES. Um, Street Fighter Two is real crazy popular in the arcades. It was a real quarter muncher, and so I remember for, first playing this game back then. Really getting into Street Fighter back in like '93, and playing this game for the SNES. I mean, even though at, at first you couldn't play as the bosses until later. This game was still awesome, and I loved it. Uh, it's it's harder than the later versions. I think Capcom just realized the challenge is too stiff, so they decided to dumb down the challenge a little bit with Turbo and, and then Super Street Fighter. But yeah, this game is just so fun. I mean, the characters, the soundtrack, uh, good controls. Capcom was real good with the video game controls back then. And this game was just so fun and very addictive. Um, yeah, so this Capcom really did an awesome job. With Street Fighter and this one in particular, Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. So many fun memories with this one. I remember going to my friend's house and wanting to play it all the time. It's real popular to go over someone's house and play two player with. Uh, so yeah, I give this game a 9 out of 10. Alright, yeah, Street Fighter 2 going back to 1992 again. Yeah, it's very exciting for me. First year of the Super Nintendo. And seeing this awesome game in action, almost carbon copy of the arcade original that everybody was talking about, it was huge. It was so awesome. Instead of playing as you know one character and trying to finish the game, you know, boring. Who wants to do that? No, you got eight different characters, each with their own unique fun styles and storylines. It's so cool. Plus, you had Sid Spuns to work with. All different types of, you know, moves you can use, you know, fast punches, slow kicks, special moves, regular moves, mix it up, do combos, you know, fight the end bosses. Yeah, they were tough back then, but it was such a cool challenge because it was so exciting once you saw their slow motion bodies go, oh, <laughs> yeah. and you do your little victory pose, yeah, and you won. It was yeah. the greatest feeling. Ah, so the original Street Fighter 2, the World Warrior here on the Super Nintendo. Great conversion, 86 out of 100. Yeah, we're kind of spoiled now with the air versions of Street Fighter 4, which is pretty much uh, another version of Street Fighter 2 since it pretty much, pretty much has the same cast anyways. <laughs> but still, it's awesome. And yeah, this is awesome. And it's Great reliving it again. Yeah. So I'd like it. Yeah, it's an awesome game. Definitely a classic. I think you have the cartridge somewhere where it shows uh, Chun-Li uh, kicking. Uh, you know, you see the cover right here on, on the video, the cover box. I have the cartridge and Chun-Li kicking Blanc, who's coming after her in his roll attack. Yeah, Ru just to... got his butt kicked. <laughs> He's yeah. just flying out. Oh! <laughs> and there's no way. Look at that. Look at that picture right there. You know Chun Li's not going to stop that big roll uh, with a kick. Come on! I don't know. It I looks think... like she's doing better than Ryu. Yeah, yeah. But th <laughs> this cover though is this cover art is better than the Street Fighter Two Turbo cover art though. Yeah, that looks a weird way. Saiga is just leaning back like he's on the couch or something. And... <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there you go for our let's play of Street Fighter Two: The World Warrior. I'm Ron Moore. I'm Star Wars 1, baby. God bless and take care.